Hello, this is News Flakes. My name is Corey De Lawal, bringing you stories from our continent and all around the world. First, the headlines. Polls. Buhari warns foreign missions to stay clear of Nigeria's internal affairs. Nine women sentenced for terrorist acts in Tunisia. China COVID. Infections will surge in rural areas over Lunar New Year, epidemiologist warns. Black Lives Matter co-founder's cousin killed in police incident. Now the news in detail. Ahead of the forthcoming general elections, President Muhammadu Buhari yesterday reiterated his call to foreign government representatives in the country not to interfere in the country's internal affairs. President Buhari cautioned on foreign interference while receiving letters of credence from ambassadors of Switzerland, Sweden, Republic of Ireland, the Kingdom of Thailand, the Republic of Senegal and the Republic of South Sudan at the presidential villa Abuja. The president in a statement by a special advisor on media and publicity, Femi Adesino, charged the new foreign diplomats to keep their activities and concerns within the limits of their calling and the reasons for being sent to Nigeria. President Buhari urged them to be guided by diplomatic practice to ensure their activities remain within the limits of their profession as they monitor the build-up to the elections and the conduct of the general elections itself. The president invited friendly countries to support efforts to address the problem of insecurity, fight against corruption, diversification of the economy, and our efforts in promoting good governance. Nine women prosecuted since 2016 by Tunisian justice for the formation of a terrorist cell and the planning of the assassination of former Interior Minister Hedi Majdoub have been sentenced to terms of up to 25 years in prison, authorities said on Thursday. Two members of this group of 10 people, composed entirely of women, including its founder, were sentenced to 25 years in prison for terrorist acts on Tuesday by the criminal chamber within the court of first sentence in Tunis. Seven other defendants received sentences ranging from 3 to 14 years in prison. Another was dismissed, according to the same source. The courts charged the convicted persons with planning an attack on the minister. After the 2011 popular uprising in Tunisia that brought down dictator Zin El Abidin Ben Ali, the country experienced a boom in jihadist groups that carried out several attacks that killed dozens of tourists and security forces. A top Chinese epidemiologist, Zheng Gwen, the ex-head of Chinese Center of Disease Control, has warned that there would be a surge of COVID cases in rural China where healthcare is less accessible. This is because hundreds of millions of Chinese are traveling to their hometowns, many for the first time since the pandemic began, ahead of the Lunar New Year. The peak of China's COVID wave is expected to last two to three months, added Zheng Gwen. China has stopped providing daily COVID statistics since abandoning zero COVID. However, hospitals in big cities where healthcare facilities are better and more easily accessible have been crowded with COVID patients as the virus has spread through the country. The Lunar New Year holidays in China, which officially start from 21 January, involves the world's largest annual migration of people. The World Health Organization, WHO, said China, which stopped recording COVID fatalities, from Tuesday was heavily underreporting COVID deaths. International health experts have predicted at least a million COVID related deaths in China this year. Beijing has officially reported just over 5,000 deaths since the pandemic began, one of the lowest death rates in the world. Now you report. The death of Kenan Anderson, the cousin of a Black Lives Matter co-founder, has sparked outcry in the United States and renewed scrutiny of the Los Angeles Police Department, LAPD, which repeatedly tasered the English teacher before he went into cardiac arrest. They are trying to judge Floyd me, they are trying to judge Floyd me, Anderson Way's 31 years old can be heard saying in police body camera footage, in reference to the police killing of Floyd in 2020 that sparked mass racial justice protests around the world. Anderson's workplace said he had been visiting his family in Los Angeles over his winter break. He was the father to a six-year-old son. Patrice Cullors, Anderson's cousin, said on Instagram, Keenan deserves to be alive right now. His child deserves to be raised by his father. Cullors vowed to fight for her late cousin and for all of their loved ones impacted by state violence. We want to know what's happening in your area. You can be a U reporter. Send us a mail at news on TATV at gmail.com. And that is all on News Flakes. Thank you for watching. I am Corey Dilawal. Enjoy the rest of your day.